Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe here with Deranged and today we're going to get started with our Overland trailer build. So you've probably already seen the preview of uh, what we're doing here. If you haven't already, check out Dave's video. It's linked up here uh, and uh, see exactly what we're doing. But basically, long story short, we got 1500 bucks each and we got to build an Overland trailer for a UTV, me and a, a Honda in this case. And that's all we have to spend is 1500 bucks. So in today's video, we're going to do tear down. Uh, go over some of the plans that I have for it and uh, give you an idea of what my trailer will look like. So uh, with that said, let's uh, let's get started. Well, let the games begin, I guess. Time to tear it down and uh, see exactly what I'm working with. So let's do this. Got her all tore down except for uh, except for the chicken wire for some reason. I'm not 100% sure what the story is there, but there's chicken wire involved. Um, well, long story short, <laughs> I got some work to do. A couple things uh, immediately stand out uh, to me that I'm going to need to address in this whole process. Uh, number one, I probably should have taken a look at more closely of how heavy duty this trailer is. I don't need something heavy duty. I'm pulling it with a side by side, so I gotta get some sort of balance between weight and uh, and heavy dutiness, so to speak. But uh, but I'm not super happy about the frame here. I'll show you. It's basically it's all built out of this angle iron here, which uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it is a pretty thin gauge of angle iron. So. Uh, I'm probably going to want to shore the frame up a bit. Even this down here, the support that runs across the middle is angle iron, just, just kind of flimsy stuff. So more than likely I will do something to shore up that. Um, it didn't look like it when the wood was on it, and it kind of doesn't look like it now. Um, but it is uh, the same height on the, this corner as that corner. So I gotta, I gotta make sure it's level. I'm not 100% sure it is. I'm, uh, you know, gotta work that out. A lot of these bars, so what this guy did, and you can tell he was trying to do this on a budget. Um, he, uh, this was his work trailer, and uh, he was tired of getting his crap stolen off his work trailer. So he did a hillbilly enclosure, and uh, that's what we're looking at. So, you know, he did it with what he had on hand, uh, which was pieces of fence. Uh, pieces of, uh, I don't know, the garage shelving stuff. Um, just kind of pieced it together. Get in a nice toolbox on the front. Probably gonna have to move that back, so that's an extra hours of work there, because uh, the jack doesn't fold up because it's too close. I'm not sure why he left that space there, but uh, but yeah, maybe more tongue weight, I don't know. Anyway, we got, uh, we got uh, some work to do there, boys. That right there, is gonna get a workout. So are uh, plenty of cutoff wheels and uh, things like it. So more than likely, this is gonna have to be my height just cause I you know, don't wanna spend forever on cutting all of these down and then lowering it down a little bit. So I'm probably gonna make this right here my height. I'll probably end up taking some of these out. We'll see how that all plays out. But uh, one more funny thing about this sucker. Look at all the various hardware used. Uh, it, it was obvious he just used what he had on hand. 
because <laughs> uh, there's no consistency in the hardware either. Uh, I'll show you the scrap pile. Some of this will get reused, some will not. I'll tell you right now, this wood floor is uh, looks fancy, but it also smells like uh, dog crap. So pretty sure uh, some dog crap was hauled in there and uh, the stain or the, uh, the scent, the odor never left. Well, I'm gonna get to pulling the chicken wire off and see where we're at after that. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at what's usable and what's not usable first. Getting rid of the chicken wire. I don't need chicken wire. Getting rid of the dog poopy uh, wood floor. Not sure what 12 volt, whatever that went to, that's going bye bye, bungee. This hillbilly poly roof, poly wall. It looks like cheap FRP or fake FRP or something. That's going bye bye, I ain't using that crap. Um, all that's going away. Uh, these over here, basically <laughs> everything that I'm taking off is really desperation mode type stuff. Um, the plywood is quarter inch, maybe three eighths. It's like quarter though, just flimsy, flimsy stuff. Um, all of the plywood is that. And then for the corners, he used this tin stuff. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Tin angle iron. What is it? What is this calling it? It's calling it. Uh, it just says caution sharp edges and has the California cancer warning on it. Anyway, super thin crap uh, for the corners. I hope I don't have to use that, but we'll see. Hoping to find a better way to seal the edges. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's where we stand as far as what we have so So quick update on the uh, trailer, kind of show you where I'm at. One thing I just discovered, not very difficult to turn it upside down, which is good because I got work to do. Let me show you this. This uh, little support right here that supports my uh, tongue is made out of pretty much tin foil. I mean, look at that stuff. So as a result of that being made of tin foil, it is bowed down, which makes it the tongue like that, obviously. So I am going to have a little bit of metal work to get this thing supported enough to be usable. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna get something that's a little thicker gauge right here and obviously not bowed. Weld it to that side, weld it to that side. And I'll end up basically replacing this. I'll probably just butt it up against it. I don't know, we'll see. But I've got to replace that with something that's better more thicker gauge and I'll do that right there and I'll probably end up having to go down both sides with it as well. So I'm gonna have to put this thicker material from here down to there, across there, yada, yada, yada. Uh, long story short, a lot more metal work than I thought I was gonna have and not a lot of budget to do it. So things could get interesting. Uh, we'll see. For now, I'm gonna pull this back down. I'm actually gonna, uh, See if I can go get it cleaned somewhere because it needs a, it needs a spraying. Um, if I'm not able to do that today, the lights need to be rewired. Maybe I'll get to that. 
this box needs to come off. So maybe I'll take that box off. That's gonna have to come off anyway. I don't know why this dude set it up this way, but it's, why? Like, why not? Why not just put it all the way right, right there and not have this problem with it? I don't know. Kids. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna pull it down and uh, see what's next. If this works, it's uh, it's probably not a good sign. Overall strength of the trailer. We'll see. Let's back up the middle here. Turbo jack. Turbo. He's fine, he can come out. Um, okay, don't do it yet, but I want you to stand right here on the back. With both feet or just one foot? Um, eventually both, stabilize yourself with that. Wait till I tell you to. Okay. All right, go ahead and stand on it. Just hold these and pull myself You're not up. going anywhere, yeah, you're good. I'll do you too. Okay, go ahead and jump off. I'm gonna uh, jack it up a little bit more. Same thing. Go ahead. This kind of falls. Go ahead, don't get your foot under it. You're good. Okay, perfect. Bubby, you too. Working and that's not necessarily a good. What? What's it not supposed I'm, to I'm do? bending that bar up again. Remember it flexed. So go ahead and jump off. You have the middle Slowly. bar. Yeah. Go ahead and get off, Bubba. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Okay, right, step off. What about today, please? Here you go. Thank you, darling. Does that mean it's super weak and flimsy? Yes. In short, <laughs> yes, it does. It's not old. Bubba. Dad. Babe, yeah. push the, when I lift up, push the jack in like an inch. Okay. Tell me when to move it. I can't see go it. Go ahead. Either. Oh, too far. Way too far. Back. There you go. Right there. It's not under it. Right. It's close enough. Okay. okay, let's do it again. One more time. Bubba, one more time. It's not. Yeah. Um, it's sir, fine. It's halfway on. It's fine. Can I come this time? No, uh, no put him down. down. Are we gonna go soon or no? Because I'm snacking. Okay, uh, stop snacking. Away. We're going. Okay, ready? Whenever you are. Can I go on two? Um, yeah, go ahead. Ollie, I don't want you under there. You can leave the Ollie, please. Champ. Oh, kick that gate open. Up. Uh, Mom, you yeah. get off of it. No, she doesn't need to get off it. How much does it Like a man with your hands? Always under this. Her feet are over it. It's not going anywhere. If it, 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 it comes out from under it, just a little bit. There you go, bud. That's all. Oh, that's Oh, no. Come on, get in there. You're good. Go ahead and get off, guys. Where's this? Thanks, bud. Now I'm just scared for all these all right, let's see where we're at there. That, uh, that definitely worked a little bit. We're in a better spot than we were. <laughs> uh, I should be able to get something in there to support that better now. 
All right. That's uh, how strong a five hundred dollar trade. Is. Is there any, sorry, right in there. I wait here. You do it one more time. Where's your field of vision? You're good. Okay, now that we're all torn down, I want to go over my plans for the overlanding trailer. So let's uh, let's take a look. Uh, basically, as you can see, I've got it torn down quite a bit. Um, you know, a bunch of the stuff that was on it is gone now, uh, and we've got some steel work to do. So that that will be fun. Um, I'll probably take a bunch of these gate pieces out and uh, find a different way to support it. Uh, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do up there with that. We'll, uh, we'll see. Haven't figured that out yet. I already rewired my trailer lights, as you saw. Um, and then as far as sheeting, I haven't decided yet. So I will either use, uh, use wood or if I can find some uh, good scrap steel, which I do have some kind of connections there, um, I may use thin gauge uh, steel to build out my shells. We'll see, haven't figured that out yet. But this, I wanted to show you this, this is the general layout of the side of the trailer. So this side is going to be my kitchen side of the trailer. Um, I've got multiple compartments. So over on this side, I've got uh, a large compartment over on this side. I've got a large compartment and then I'll have three shelves here and a shelf over here and a shelf over there. This right here will be my um, stove area. And then over here will be my refrigerated area, either refrigerator or cooler, probably cooler for now because a refrigerator ain't in the budget. And then we'll get a refrigerator into it later. And then these are all storage. So I'll probably have some drawers in here for cooking utensils. This piece right here, is gonna fold down and then this will be my countertop. So I will have uh, almost a two foot countertop here um, to be able to use for cooking, uh, cooking space. Uh, these shelves will go into the trailer, not quite halfway. You can kind of see where I marked it off here, but not quite halfway is how far the, uh, the shelves would go into the, uh, into the trailer. So gotta get those built out, um, build the frame out of steel and then uh, I'm not sure if I'll uh, I'll finish it with wood or uh, with uh, thin gauge sheeting or steel of some sort. But that's the plan there. This box right here, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier. Just got to get rid of that gap and go all the way back to the back. Um, I want to do whatever I can to keep this kind of lightweight. Um, so I am pulling it with a side by side, not with a tr uh, truck. So I want to keep it as light as I can. Um, that's why I'm kind of up in the air with my sheeting whether or not I want to go with steel or with, uh, with wood. Cause I want it to be, I want it to be lightweight. I don't want it to put extra stress on my, uh, on my rig, um, any more stress than I, I have to anyway. Uh, over on this side of the, uh, the trailer, um, it's not set in stone yet. You can see I haven't cut anything out yet. I'll likely put a shower compartment in here, um, somewhere where I can mount a hot water heater. Uh, and then we got to mount the propane somewhere as well. Um, likely the propane is going to end up right up there. Um, I'm not gonna go over the specifics of the uh, pieces I'm gonna add to it. The reason why is I don't wanna, don't wanna give anything away to Dave or Garrett. I don't want them to uh, cheat and uh, get good ideas off of me, so. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, once I have that, we'll do that in a separate video. Um, we'll go over the specific things that we're gonna put in the trailer, whether it's, um, whether it's the refrigerator or cooler or what stove we're going to use, what propane setup we're going to use, whether or not we're going to use solar, and if we are using solar, how we're going about that. So um, those are some uh, some things we're looking at. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of the series, so you can see what happens with my trailer, what goes on with Garrett, what goes on with Dave's. We're having a lot of fun doing this series. We're hoping it gets a little traction because we're having a lot of fun doing this type of stuff. Um, we will continue to do regular UTV and uh, off-road related stuff as well. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, don't forget to click the notification bell as well. So you get notified when we do uh, post new content. Um, but with that said, that's it for this one, guys. We appreciate you watching. Ride safe, pack out what you pack in, and we'll see you on the next one. Driver. Straighten out. You got it. Beauty. It's like this with
Thank you.